start, we got a power crunch bar with 32 grams of peanut butter. Guys, I'm like in macro heaven right now. hour fitness in LA. I made it to LA. I'm in West Hollywood. My Airbnb is not ready yet so I have like all my luggage here with me <laughs> and I'm just gonna get in a workout right now. I'm gonna be training legs and doing 30 minutes of HIIT cardio. Today it's 100 grams of carbs, 45 grams of fat, and 130 protein. This morning I woke up at 3.30 a.m. and I went and I flew, flew to the Philly Flew from Philly to Chicago, then Chicago to LA, and I got here around 11.30, and right now it's almost three o'clock, so in between that time, I tried to go to a couple different gyms, I tried to check in my Airbnb, and just, you know, regular travel issues, so, but anyways, I made it to a gym, I can work out now, I'm trying to, I think I'm gonna get a meal in, because I am gonna be training, so I don't wanna, I'm really, really fast, that I haven't eaten since 11. So it's pretty, it's been pretty long since I ate and I want to get in a good workout. So that is that anticipation. So steady abs, bass FX. I'm wearing Gymshark and a Lululemon uh, bra. I feel like that's the back, love it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go hit up a workout now, get this over with, and then I have a bunch of client check-ins to get to, and I have to get ready for the YouTubers retreat. So tonight is the the black tie dinner, and I have to do my hair for it, and I have to get changed and everything, so that's just a full thing to do. But uh, I didn't really take my camera out while I was traveling just because it was just so much hassle, but I am gonna take you guys with me through this entire California trip. I'm here till Wednesday. So let's do this leg day. All right, so to kick off today's leg workout, I started with stiff leg deadlifts. Let's just be honest, guys. When you're very, very close to a show, you're very depleted, you're on low carbs, and you're not in a muscle building phase. So right now, I'm doing higher rep leg work, keeping things very tight, and just getting a really good squeeze out of each movement. So as you can see, I'm getting good depth in my stiff leg deadlift and squeezing those hamstrings and glutes super tight at the top. This is a very concentrated movement and you really want to make that mind and muscle connection. This is the same exact exercise, just a different view of what I'm doing. As you can see, I have one hand face one way and one hand face the other. I feel like that really improves your grip, whether I'm lifting heavy, lifting light. That is the way I prefer to do any type of deadlift. And standing on a platform will give you more of that depth in the stiff light deadlift. So if you do have that in your gym, I do recommend using that. And again, Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings super tight at the top. Feel those hamstrings stretch as you go down towards the bottom and as you move all the way back up. This is not the best angle, I apologize, but I superset the stiff leg deadlifts with step ups into reverse lunges. I am doing one leg at a time and I'm holding 10 pound weights for this movement. I then moved into split squats and instead of using a bench to rest my one foot on, I'm using a step bench and this actually is higher than a regular bench so which made it a little bit more difficult and again I was trying to really focus on getting good depth in my stiff leg deadlift and pushing towards the heel that is on the floor. That is where you're going to maximize your benefit in this exercise and really get a good squeeze in the hamstrings. Try to keep your chest up and keep the main focus on that one leg that is planted on the floor. 
I superset the stiff leg deadlifts with dumbbell sumo squats. I prefer to do dumbbell sumo squats on a platform because normally the gym floors are not perfectly straight and the platform just allows me a better squeeze at the top and I feel it more just having that straight platform to stand on. And I'm keeping my chest up, squeezing those glutes super tight at the top. This is about 20 reps I'm doing here, just more of a high rep leg movement. But again, you can really maximize your benefits as you focus focus on that mind and muscle connection. When I went into my last set of the sumo squats, some guy took the platform from me. It's okay that he did, but so right now I'm not using the platform and as you can see, it's just a different view of the sumo squats and how low I'm getting and I'm driving through the heels that are on the floor, squeezing at the top, again, keeping my chest up. With glute kickbacks, it's not just about swinging your foot back. You really want to feel that glute isolation each time you kick your foot back. So feeling that glute raise at the top, it does help by looking at the mirror and seeing that glute muscle pop up. So as you're kicking back, just making sure you're keeping that glute tension very high and just focusing on that glute isolation. I don't mean to be repetitive, but it really will change the way you do glute kickbacks. This is just a different view of the glute kickbacks, but it does help to bend over and grasp something in front of you. Really, you're just focusing on the glutes, nothing else. I superset the cable kickbacks with cable pull-throughs. This is more hamstring isolation work. And what you want to do is make sure you're pushing through the heels that are on the floor and stretching through the hamstrings as you're pushing the cable through your legs. I then moved into reverse leg curls on the stability ball. You can do this exercise on the stability ball on the rowing machine. This exercise is definitely underused. It is a great hamstring isolation exercise and I feel like I don't do them as often as I should because it really does maximize your hamstring growth benefit and development. So I really want to put more of a focus on these. I just have always forgotten about them. but. Getting them in this session, I really felt a great hamstring burnout. And to end today's leg workout, I superset the reverse lying leg curls with cable squats. Right now, I'm using two separate cables in each hand, and I'm pushing my glutes back and keeping most of my tension in the heels that are on the floor. And make sure as you come up, you feel that great squeeze in the glutes and hamstrings. It's all about the squeeze, guys. If you're very close to a show, if you're getting towards the end of your cut, it's more high rep stuff and just keeping things very tight. guys so I made it to the Airbnb and I'm going to be having a meal finally I'm gonna have some sweet potato with chicken and asparagus nothing too crazy nothing too exciting but I'm starving and I just need to eat and then I'll give you guys a little Airbnb tour I just wanted to say one more thing, real quick, one more thing. I just wanted to say 
today. It's amazing, once again, for all of you guys to be here right now. But even more importantly, we have a really special guest as well. His name is T-Pain, and he is a award-winning singer. And, uh, <laughs> So I was basically the worst vlogger the entire night, so I did get a lot of pictures and I did have a great time with everybody, but I do do better with the next day of the retreat, as you can see. Just a couple of people that you see on YouTube, a couple of people that inspire me, and it was just really great to connect with these people and get the chance to just talk with them in person, and I truly had a great time, and I hope you guys enjoyed some of this. It'll be better tomorrow, I promise. Emails, eating a huge salad. Trying to catch up on macros. Work, work, work. So I'm eating this random ass meal. I have this wraps that I got from Trader Joe's. It's 11 grams of carbs. I have the yasmin rice, some lettuce, and a little bit of ground turkey in there, and a little bit of ketchup. Topping off macros. This taco is actually really good. Wait, I think I'm not really good. Look how yellow the plate gets from the tomato. This time, I have it sitting on a towel, so it like won't mess up like their furniture and stuff. Because normally when I use tomato, it gets everywhere. And at home it's okay, but like when you're in an Airbnb, in other people's homes, I really have to watch like when I use it. But you guys know. Can't get salad, can't go there without turmeric. Dessert, we got a power crunch bar with 32 grams of peanut butter. Guys, I'm like in macro heaven right now. Hey guys, so it is midnight and I answered all my check-ins. So it's actually a little bit past midnight, but I made sure I got that mail answered. So that was really important that I was gone all day traveling, going to the gym, Going to the retreat, like I literally just, everything was non-stop today, but it's important to still be time for your work and for the people who are putting in the work during the week and expecting feedback and responses. So that's what you have to do. And that's what I did. I'm like more than happy to answer. So many people had some really great, really, really great progress this week. So I'm super excited to like sit there and give them their feedback and I'll work on their changes tomorrow, the ones who do need changes. So it was really, felt really good to get that done. But to touch on the YouTubers retreat, it was absolutely amazing. Um, it's only day one of the YouTubers retreat done. But I feel like I was a really bad vlogger through it. It was like pretty dark and I have to get a flash like put on to my camera. I do have it, I just never bring it because I never really vlog too much at night. But mainly it was like dark and there was just so many people, so much going on. But truly, 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 it was just a great time. And thank you to Javon and Christian like for organizing that. It was absolutely amazing and it couldn't have been any better. Like just people, it was a really cool vibe. Like everybody was enjoying themselves. And just a great way to connect, network, meet people, you know, just like get out of your comfort zone. That's what I'm doing. Like I'm doing it for the chance to just connect and network and stuff like that. So I feel very, very fortunate and very thankful to have this opportunity and just to do, to do it all over again tomorrow and learn and just get better from here. That's what we're doing. We, you learn from other people who are successful and learn how to be better and just stuff like that. So it's a really, really positive and learning experience this entire weekend. And I'm just really looking forward to tomorrow. So I'll take you guys with me tomorrow. And I just wanted to close out today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this random footage today. I will hopefully like edit it so it looks better and you can sort of follow through today. And I'll be better tomorrow because I'm gonna be traveling and I'll be able to like wake up and just have all my 
stuff together, head together, and just be like in a better mindset. It's always tough like when you're traveling, but you know, get through it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Love y'all.